The term Antichrist itself is not uh, common in the New Testament, but um, most Christians associate the Antichrist with the figure presented in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and uh, with the first beast in Revelation chapter 13. But perhaps the most interesting Antichrist passage is 1 John chapter 2, verses 18 and 19. Uh, there we're told that certain people went out from us and, and they are called antichrists. That's how we know that it's the last hour. As you have heard that antichrist is coming, so now also already there are many antichrists, John writes. That is, antichrist is coming. It is understood there is a figure labeled antichrist at the end of the age before everything finally wraps up. But, John says, already there are many antichrists. The term itself suggests either someone who stands in for Christ and tries to usurp his place, or someone who stands over against Christ and tries to diminish him. And both may be valid. That is, someone who's claiming Christ-like authority and thus is not only trying to usurp his place, but also to diminish him because of it. But, John says, there are many antichrists that have already gone out. That's how we know it's the last hour. In other words, antichrist is associated with the last hour. But the last hour can refer to the entire period between Christ's first coming and his second coming. This is the time when Christ's kingdom has dawned. And with the dawning of Christ's kingdom, so sadly, horribly, there are antichrists who are trying to diminish him, um, exploit him, uh, crush him uh, until the very end of the age when the last enemy is finally destroyed, the last enemy being death itself. So there are antichrists today. What John does not say is, since there are antichrists now, you don't have to worry about an antichrist at the end of the age. Rather, in a much more careful way, he says, as you have heard that antichrist is coming, so also now there are many antichrists. The antichrists that function in our culture today point to an ultimate antichrist who comes before the end.